happening now. Breaking news is off today. I'm Brianna Keeler, and you're in the Situation Room. Following breaking political news, Donald Trump going nuclear in a barrage of Twitter attacks on Republicans that he calls disloyal. The GOP nominee lashed out at House Speaker Paul Ryan, who says he will no longer defend Trump or campaign for him. Trump called Ryan a, quote, very weak and ineffective leader who's given him zero support, and he accused the party leadership of dooming his campaign. Trump went to San Antonio and Dallas today for private fundraisers, leaving behind his traveling press corps. We are also following the Clinton campaign. Hillary Clinton appearing this afternoon with Al Gore amid a new email controversy. Stolen documents released by WikiLeaks allegedly shows Clinton's campaign spokesman discussing communications with the Justice Department. The Trump campaign cites it as proof of collusion. But is it? We are covering all of that and CNN Sarah Murray filing that report for us from Panama City Beach, Florida. And we want to get some more now on the Trump campaign with CNN uh, senior White House course plan. He says he's going to be unshackled. What does that mean? Unshackled. Uh, you, you got me. Uh, you know, at this point. Establishment would also uh, agree with him on. But when you're looking at the Republican Party, how is this and maybe Republicans, how are they worried about how this will affect them? It's almost like we're looking at two. They're worried about a two thirds of their party who say they should be backing Trump. So they're trying to kind of split that up there. There's a lot to deal with it. There point. sure is. Yeah. Jim Acosta, thank you so much. Okay. Let's get more on all of this with Republican Congressman Peter. King. We have breaking news in the presidential race. Donald Trump lashing out at Republican. Back to where he was when he was running in the primaries as the outsider. He thinks that works for him. The only problem is that he's got to expand tweets here just so yeah. uh, we can. Here is uh, the first one where he's talking about being unshackled. He says, it is so nice, also self-destructive, what Donald Trump is doing completely. It is. I mean, he is not growing his support by uh, speaking this way about Republicans or by starting these inter-party fights. Uh, he is rallying his base. And I saw that. I was up in the Pittsburgh area yesterday for his first post-debate rally, and his core supporters were absolutely electrified by his tone right now and the rhetoric he is using. They love to see Donald Trump, the fighter, the street fighter, electrified by that. They are turned off by that, and, then, and especially yeah. these college educated white voters who we've been talking about for the past few months who are key Republican voters usually they are really turned off by this yeah, right and they're now. saying this is you... Donald Trump yeah that's right this, this is who he is remember he said during the but this is how Donald Trump uh, won and this is what he believes is going to get guys, I'm married. so well, sorry. I gotta leave it there. I gotta get a break in. Okay. You guys are sticking around, so okay. that's the good news. We'll have more okay. on this. Stand by for me. Uh, we have a lot of developments, and Hillary Clinton has been campaigning. We are following breaking news on the Democratic side of the presidential race, even as Hillary Clinton campaigned with Al Gore to our panel of political experts now. The emails. You have Trump's folks saying this is collusion. I mean, we look at this, it's not, it's not collusion, mm -mm. but what I think is lost on some Democrats who I've spoken to is that it's just, it's kind of stinky business is, is for aid from, uh, you know, some of the things right. that we've seen. Right, exactly. The friends it, of Bill it, Clinton. It, exactly. And I, it happens all the time, particularly if you're running as an outsider. As Donald Trump Republicans, uh, they would probably be much more a campaign ham. Are they a little hamstrung by the fact that they're 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 questioning the veracity of some of the emails? You know, John Podesta said, "Oh, I don't have time to figure out which ones are fake and which ones sure. are real." Okay, well, if these particular emails were fake, they would be reacting. I mean, all the Clinton campaign would need to do would be to find black from the content of the emails, and there is an argument to be made that. Um, maybe people should be concerned that Russia is trying yeah, to I'm, affect the election. You've got these WikiLeaks emails, Mark. You've also got the RNC putting out emails that they FOIA'd and that have been uh, verified by uh, a network. And they show that the Clinton Foundation officials, they gave some special attention to friends of Bill after the earthquake right. in Haiti. Now, these were friends of Bill who were trying to help. So that's sort of, the, they're like, hey, these people were doing humanitarian work right. after the Haiti earthquake, but I not when they're fed up with Washington. All right, Mark, thank right. you so much, Nia, Gloria, Rebecca. Thanks to all of you. And coming up, new rumblings about more embarrassing tapes of breaking news burning down the house. We want to welcome our viewers in the United States and around the world. Wolf Blitzer is off today. I'm Brianna Keeler, and you're in the situation. Going after his Republican critics with new vengeance as he battles to recover from the most damaging controversy of his campaign. We're standing by to hear from Trump in Florida. He has been been, though, on a new Twitter rant targeting the House Speaker as well as uh, other GOP officials that he's calling disloyal. 
Long simmering tensions within Trump's party are exploding again as this fallout just continues from Trump's vile remarks about women on a 2005 video. Also breaking, WikiLeaks posts a third batch of emails apparently hacked from Hillary Clinton's campaign as she tries to focus on the fight for Florida with a little help from former Vice President Al Gore. The Trump camp alleges that one email in particular points to collusion between Clinton and the Justice Department. But the Obama administration says the investigation of Clinton's private emails had nothing to do with partisan politics. Tonight, the White House is promising to retaliate against Vladimir Putin's Russia for its alleged cyber attacks on U.S. political institutions. The administration saying the response would be proportional. This is 33 states are now asking for federal help to protect their computerized election systems. Congressman and uh, Hillary Clinton supporter. Uh, now, Brianna. Yeah, it seems like we might be. All right, Jim Acosta, thank you so much for that report. After what we've seen and heard from Donald Trump in the last few hours, let alone the last few days, there's no telling what will happen at his rally in Florida tonight. We have CNN political reporter Sarah Murray, who is standing by to hear from Donald Trump on the trail in Florida tonight after he has declared today that his shackles are now off. We will see if he continues to attack top members of his own party after a ferocious tirade on Twitter today. Let's bring in our political team they are manning their battle stations for us on this story. Okay, let's talk about these tweets that we saw. You guys have all seen them. Uh, Donald Trump taking aim at Paul Ryan. This is one of the tweets. It says our remarks part in, in a little while. But you look at this, Jim, yeah. and it just seems very self-destructive. It, it does. I'm hearing. I mean, you know, his strategy clearly is one that he used very simply. You're totally right. He, it's, it's making him look petty. It's shrinking his base. It's shrinking the... T uh, Hillary Clinton support to press her turnout, which is one reason why he's Absolutely. attacking her the way he is. Yeah. yeah, certainly. Okay, so he said in one of those tweets, the locker room remarks. He used that. He said locker room uh, during his first response to the Access Hollywood tape that came out. I mean, to be clear, the tape is him bragging about how he, how he has or tries to sexually assault women, right? I mean, that is, that's what this is, forcible sexual advance. He seems to be diminishing this. And it also seems that some of his surrogates, for instance, uh, Dr. Ben Carson, who I talked to today, who, who said, look, this is not what should have been said, but he's also diminishing exactly what was said. Here's the exchange. Is there just a lack of understanding among Donald Trump and those who are close to him, Ben Carson advises him, about what his comments meant and how that is very offensive to some people, or are they just trying to skate Past it. I think that they are disturbing is this attempt bro broadly across his advisors to normalize this kind of behavior and these messages that Donald Trump himself has been but actually uh, President Obama just weighed in on the Donald Trump access Hollywood tape so we're going to out of the break listen to that we'll be back in just a moment this is sort of an election where people are weighing the status quo and whether they want it I mean that's sort of an important thing Here's my question to you. Is the Clinton campaign Sorry, just want yeah. to talk about change, talk about change, and they could use these emails too, and, and, and maybe to some effect. I want to talk to you about an entirely different subject, okay? We have President Obama on CNN.com writing an exclusive editorial today, and he's calling for a manned mission to Mars. So all of those sci-fi folks out there will love this, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Within the next 20 years, this is part of what he said. He said, we have set a clear goal. By all right, you guys, thanks so much. Abby, Jim, Manu, and David, really appreciate it. It. Just ahead, the death toll, uh, it is rising in North. Tonight, there's new fuel for concerns about Russia's possible attempts to influence Donald Trump in the U.S. election. Now appears that Trump repeated a false story that was essentially Russian propaganda in one of his latest attacks on Hillary Clinton. Our chief national correspondent, Jim Shudo, is digging into this. And Jim, I've talked to Democrats who say, look, this was either uh, him being in cahoots with Putin or this was gross negligence. Right, or ju just a bad... Jim Shudo, thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching. Aaron Burnett out front starts right now.